So in my earlier lecture, we started with the definition of uh, specific energy. We defined what is total energy. Then we differentiated between total energy and specific energy. Then uh, we wrote this specific energy diagram. Kindly recall in my earlier lecture, I mentioned about uh, this uh, critical flow, subcritical flow and supercritical flow. Now with reference to this figure, kindly refer to this figure. So in this case, the flow is said to be critical when the specific energy is minimum. Now, if the depth of flow is more than the critical depth, then the flow is said to be subcritical. Now, if the depth of flow is less than the critical depth, the flow is said to be supercritical. Now, this is the point where we stopped in the last class. So, let us proceed further. The next one is, so what is the equation for this critical depth that is represented by YC for a rectangular channel? So, how do we define this critical depth? Critical depth is given by YC is defined as that depth of flow of fluid at which the specific energy is minimum. Okay, so corresponding to this Y is equal to YC. So specific energy E is equal to E minimum. So next thing is how to derive an equation for this critical depth. So for this, let us start with the basic equation of the specific energy. Kindly recall how we define specific energy. It is an energy which we are going to measure with reference to the channel bottom. So when you measure the energy with respect to the channel bottom, you have two, two energies. One is the pressure energy, P by gamma, that is nothing but the depth of flow in a channel that is given by Y plus the kinetic energy V square by 2G. Therefore, the specific energy E is equal to Y plus V square divided by 2G. It is a general equation. Now, if you talk about uh, this discharge equation, Q is equal to A into V. Now, I want the value of V. V is equal to Q divided by A. In a general equation, in place of V, if I substitute this Q by A, the equation takes up the form E is equal to Y plus Q square divided by 2G A square. Now, consider a rectangular channel. Right now, we are talking about a rectangular channel. Now, we define what is known as discharge per unit width. What is the discharge per unit width? Discharge per unit width is given by capital Q discharge divided by the base width of the channel that is given by uh, B. Now, since it's a rectangular channel, what I'm going to do is in place of uh, A, I'm going to substitute this wetted area that is B into Y. So if you substitute this uh, B into Y in place of uh, a square and if you replace this capital Q by B by small q on simplification you are going to get this equation E is equal to y plus small q square divided by 2g y square. So purposely I skipped a couple of steps here so you can start from the basics and whatever I mentioned now just now you can follow that and finally you can come to this uh, equation. That is E is equal to Y plus small q square divided by 2G Y square. Now, how we are going to get the equation for this critical depth? The equation for critical depth is obtained by differentiating equation 1, the one what we derived just now with respect to Y and equate the same to 0. This point is very important. I repeat once again, the equation for critical depth is obtained by differentiating equation 1 with respect to y and equate the same to 0. So if you do that, so you are going to get dA by dy is equal to d by dy of y plus q square divided by 2g y square and this is equal to 0. Now if you differentiate this equation, you are going to get dE by dy is equal to 1 plus q square divided by 2g into minus 2 divided by y cube 
that is equal to 0. So if you simplify this, you are going to get 1 minus q square divided by g y cube is equal to 0. Now I, am, I want the value of y. So because the unknown which we are looking for is the critical depth, that is right now it is yc, I mean y, in the next step, I call this y as yc. Therefore, y cube is equal to small q square divided by g. As I said just now, so let us represent this y as yc. In that case, this yc cube is equal to q square divided by g. I want the value of yc. So yc is equal to q square divided by g, whole thing rise to one third. So this is the equation for the critical depth in case of a rectangular channel. The critical depth is given by, so discharge per unit width square divided by uh, acceleration due to gravity. The whole thing rise to one third. Okay. Done. Critical velocity VC for a rectangular channel. Just now, we derived an equation for the critical depth. Critical depth YC is equal to Q square divided by G raised to one third. So consider that equation. So what right now I am going to do is, I consider this YC cube is equal to small Q square divided by G. What is small Q? Small Q is discharge per unit width, capital Q divided by B. Now in place of Q, I'm going to substitute this capital Q divided by B. If you do that, you're going to get this YC cube is equal to capital Q square divided by B square into G. But what is Q? Q is equal to A into V. Right now we are talking about critical velocity and critical depth. Therefore, YC cube is equal to, in place of Q, I'm going to substitute this a v that is a square into v c square so whole thing divided by b square into g so y c cube is equal to so what is a for a rectangular channel it is b into y right now we are talking about y c the critical depth therefore a is equal to so b into y c so in place of a square i am going to substitute this b square into yc square. So right hand, of, right hand side of the equation becomes b square into yc square into vc square whole thing divided by b square divided by g. b square in the numerator and b square in the denominator gets cancelled. You will left with this yc cube is equal to yc square into vc square divided by g. Okay, so left hand side you have this yc cube, on right hand side you have this yc square. So on simplification, you are going to get yc is equal to vc square divided by g. I want the value of vc. So vc square is equal to yc into g. Therefore, vc is equal to root of yc into g. At this point, let us go back to the specific energy. So in that uh, specific energy curve, uh, we already studied that. When the depth is critical depth, specific energy is minimum. The flow is said to be critical flow. And we also know that corresponding to this critical flow, the Proud's number is equal to 1. So for subcritical, Proud's number is less than 1. For supercritical flow, Proud's number is greater than 1. Since right now we are talking about the critical depth and the critical velocity, so I am going to write this equation as f of n is equal to 1 that is equal to Vc divided by root of Yc into G. So this is the equation for this critical velocity. We have an equation for the critical depth and we have an equation for this critical velocity for a rectangular channel. 
we move further. What is the equation for this minimum specific energy in terms of critical depth? We must be very careful when the depth of flow is critical depth, E is equal to E minimum. Now we derived an equation for this critical depth. We also derived an equation for this critical velocity. Now we need to derive an equation for this specific energy minimum. So how to do that? Let us start with the basics again. So E is equal to Y plus small q square divided by 2G Y square. I'm, I'm writing this equation with respect to rectangular channel. So right now I, we are interested in E minimum. Therefore, wherever E is there, I'm going to subscript the, put a subscript of E minimum. Therefore, the equation takes up the form E minimum is equal to YC plus small q square divided by 2G Y square. Call this as equation number one. Now we derived an equation for this critical depth. What is that equation? Yc is equal to small q square divided by g, whole thing rise to one third. That equation can also be written as yc cube is equal to q square divided by g. Call this as equation number two. Now, closely observe equation number one. On the right hand side, you have this yc plus q square divided by 2g yc square. Now what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to club this q square divided by g and I'm going to replace that with yc cube from equation 2. Therefore the equation takes up the form E minimum is equal to yc plus yc cube divided by 2y square. So if you simplify that, you are going to get E minimum is equal to YC plus YC divided by 2. So if you simplify the RHS, you are going to get E minimum is equal to 3YC divided by 2. E minimum is equal to 3 by 2YC. What is the conclusion you are going to draw? So minimum specific energy is 1.5 times the critical depth or if you want the critical depth, critical depth YC is equal to two thirds E minimum. So already we derived an equation for this critical depth, critical depth in terms of discharge per unit weight that is YC is equal to small q square divided by G raised to one third. Now we, we came up with another relation with respect to this uh, specific energy that is given by yc is equal to two third e minimum. So this is the relation between the critical depth and the minimum specific energy. Whatever we discussed till now, this is for rectangular channel. If you recall, we studied about the rectangular channel, trapezoidal ch channel, triangular section and a circular section. Now if the section is not a rectangular section, then what are the equations for this critical depth as well as for this E minimum that we'll see in the next slide. So critical depth YC for non-rectangular channel. So it may be a triangular channel or it may be a trapezoidal channel. So let us start with the basics. So E is equal to Y plus V square by 2G. Call this as equation number one. Now we know Q is equal to A into V. From this equation, I want, I want, I want to have the value of V. So V is equal to Q by A. So if you substitute this V is equal to Q by A in equation one, you're going to get E is equal to Y plus Q square divided by 2G A square. So call this as equation number two. Now, differentiate this equation number two with respect to Y and equate the same to zero to get 
an equation for this critical depth yc that is de by dy is equal to 0 if you do that you are going to get d by dy of y plus q square divided by 2g a square that is equal to 0 so on differentiation okay assuming that the discharge is constant we are going to get 1 minus 2q square divided by 2g a cube into dA by dy. Now your one point is very very important. So this A, the weighted area depends on the depth of flow. So based on, based on that we differentiate this equation and we are going to get 1 minus 2q square divided by 2g a cube into dA by dy that is equal to 0. So 2 2 gets cancelled. So you are going to get 1 minus q square divided by g a cube into dA by dy that is equal to 0. Now what is this dA by dy? dA by dy is the rate of increase of area with respect to the depth which is nothing but the top width. The top width is given is represented by capital T. Therefore, I am going to replace this dA by dy by t. So if you do that, the above equation takes up the form 1 minus q square t divided by g a q that is equal to 0. So you can rearrange these terms. So if you rearrange these terms, the equation takes up the form q square divided by g is equal to a cube by divided by t. This is a standard formula. I repeat once again, q square by g is equal to a cube by t. So condition that must be satisfied for the flow in non-rectangular channel at the critical depth. So you need to remember this formula, very, very important formula. Q square by g is equal to a cube divided by t. Let us move further. Now, kindly go back to the geometrical properties of the various sections which we studied in the earlier class. There we discussed about what is known as hydraulic depth. So what is hydraulic depth? Hydraulic depth we defined as the ratio of weighted area to the top width. Now just now we wrote this equation q square by g is equal to a cube divided by t. Now consider the right hand, right hand side of the equation. So a cube divided by t. This a cube divided by t I can write it as a square into a divided by t. I am going to replace this a divided by t by d. If you do that this equation takes up the form q square by g is equal to a square into d. I repeat q square by g is equal to a square into d. Now rearrange this equation. So what I am going to do is I am going to bring this a square so to the LHS and in the denominator. So or class multiply. When you do that you are going to get q square divided by a square into g that is equal to cap, capital D or the hydraulic depth. So what is q by a? q by a is nothing but a velocity. Therefore on simplification this equation becomes v square divided by g is equal to, do, is equal to d. In the next step what I am going to do is I am going to divide throughout by 2. So if you divide throughout by 2 you are going to get v square by 2g is equal to d divided by 2. What is v square by 2g? v square by 2g is nothing but the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is equal to hydraulic depth divided by 2. That is what I mentioned here. The velocity head or the kinetic head is equal to 1 of the hydraulic depth of for critical flow v square by 2g is equal to d divided by 2. Okay. 
Now, consider the general equation E is equal to y plus q square divided by 2g a square. Okay. Now, we have this equation. What is this equation? Q square by g is equal to a cube divided by t. Now, if you look at this equation, what I mentioned just now, E is equal to Y plus Q square divided by 2G A square. So, in that case, or in this equation, if I replace this Q square by T, if I replace this equation, okay, or if I modify this equation, so, using that relation q square by g is equal to a cube by t, the equation takes of the form e is equal to y plus capital A divided by 2, 2t. I repeat, consider the general ener specific energy equation. e is equal to y plus q square divided by 2g a square. Now, we showed that this capital Q square divided by G is equal to A cube divided by T. Using this relation on simplification of the general specific energy equation, the equation takes of the form E is equal to Y plus A divided by 2T. So, this equation represents the critical state with reference to the specific energy. So, therefore, the equation we can write it as E minimum R E C is equal to Y C plus A divided by 2 T. So, this is the general equation for specific energy in the critical state applicable to all channels, channels of all shapes. Very important. Okay, done. So here, I gave the E minimum equation for a rectangular section, a trapezoidal section, a circular section, and a triangular section. So when you're solving the problems, this slide or this formula will be a ready reckoner to solve those problems. Okay, so we have an equation for the critical depth critical velocity, minimum specific energy in case of a rectangular channel, then we moved on to so non-rectangular channel. Okay, so we, we move further. Constant specific energy. So in the earlier case, so when, I'm, when I was talking about the rectangular channel and non-rectangular non channel, we presume that the discharge flowing in the channel is constant. Now, in this case, we presume that the specific energy is constant. So, based on that, we will derive an equation. Let us see how to derive that. Consider a case in which the specific energy is kept constant and the discharge is varied. Please underline this. In the earlier cases, we kept the discharge Q constant. Now, in this case, Discharge Q is varied, whereas the specific energy is constant. Now, consider the general equation. 